from Choctaw Resort in Durant, Oklahoma. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton and tonight we are in Durant, Oklahoma at Choctaw. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new table of degenerates degenerating their hard-earned money at a game of skill and luck. Uh, this table's got five pros and a guy who runs a faith-based marriage counselor summer camp. No one's money is that harder. Uh, there's a guy named Garden Hire. Maybe he works hard. There's also a guy named Baker, but last I checked, he wasn't rolling up in here with a baguette. I suppose this is where I'm obliged to make a dough-based pun, but I'll leave all that comedy to Stapes, huh? And I'll do what I do best, reading off a list of names. It's a mix of favorites and new faces. We got David Baker, Jim Carrot Cake, Joe Polk, Cookie Callis. Uh, look, I see where this is going. And those are our PNIA regs. Meanwhile, pro Eric Croissantson <laughs> is making his first appearance on the show. Let's see if he loses enough to get invited back. And look who's back in seat one. I can hardly believe it. Could you be Queen Jack? Jim Carroll back in his traditional seat here at Choctaw. Carroll Top is back. I'm so disappointed he's not wearing a t-shirt that looks like a tuxedo. They probably, they probably he is the uh, world's foremost comedian prop comic poker player. I really hope he makes up for his lack of tuxedo t-shirt with a fart machine later. Ah, uh, it's all in fun. We love you, Jim. Welcome back to Poker fun. Night in America. They got me. <laughs> Whatever. Also, welcome back to Poker Night in America, Kane Callis. Yeah, Kane Callis, very impressive player. That's real messed up. <laughs> well. Oh, your curse worked. <laughs> and this is a raise. Now, I know Jim's never folding this pre-flop, and since he's not folding, I kind of like him getting in some more money. I'm just going to call. I'm just going to call. I don't have a very good hand, except I do. Look twice, make sure you get the right card. Let me, have, let me have a little peek, too. And this is exactly the kind of board Jim could get blown off of. And my guess is we're going to see a delayed continuation bet from Kane Callis. I don't think he'll bet three streets just in case Carol does have a queen. He's going to keep the pot small for now. And they both hit a king on the turn. You got a king over queen boat already? Can I ask him those questions? Or am I angling, angling or hearing? So even though Jim is talking, he's not exactly you not do two oh boy. exuding oh boy. strength. Here, here comes, comes some cash. Here, here comes a prop. Oh. oh. I think he was going to pull a prop out until he saw the stack of bills in Kane's hand. <laughs> My call's perfectly reasonable. There it is. Will Kane Callas bluff Jim Carroll off the river? Well, he's not going to need to. Oh he's got the goodness. best hand. Wow. This is so sick. You know how they always say if this went in pre-flop, Kane would be like, well, I have two flush draws. This is it. Here it is. <laughs> it actually came to fruition. Kane Callas not really going to be worried about full houses here. He's definitely going to go for some value with the nut flush. I see him betting like 3,500. Yeah, 3,400. That's about right. Now, if you're Jim Carroll, this is actually kind of a tough fold. If you fold here all the time, you're a fish. Goodness. But if you call here all the time, <laughs> you're a fish. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hope you brought one of those big mouth billy basses. Those are my favorite. I was thinking we might have had the same hand. You're just looking at at the wrong times. If you don't have opposite, it would have worked out. <laughs> I fold him. Good Show fold. Him Show him the red one. I'll take this one way over here. Yeah. Nice hand. What was it? That was the right one to see. Here goes. Same Watch here. it. You missed a pretty epic Watch, ball. I'm capping. Again, again, just do Watch, it. Watch, I'm do capping, Doug. Doug. Okay. Action here, okay. starting on Garden Hire. You fold it, what you fold? Oh, nobody calls ice on him, am I right? And he made Jack Deuce on the river. Tens for Doug Polk. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Or These are 100. OK, math. Math is really difficult <laughs> to do. You're shooting that one right onto the moon, aren't you? I was. Uh, <laughs> For some reason, I thought that those were each worth $50. I don't, that hey, makes hey, no don't sense. Talk during the hand. I don't know what's worse. Doug trying to act like he's not that bright or the fact that Jim Carroll is probably going to fall How for it. How much is it, 525 Think about it. those wads of $100 bills. <sighs> All right, 
right, this all go to this all go to lockdown now. Wait, they can't see. I right, check. Check it. This is pretty interesting, huh? Top pair for Garden Hire, top set for Doug, nut flush draw, and a pair for Jim Carroll. We could see more chips go into the middle than a delicious Toll House cookie. Send me cookie dough, Toll House. Mm. Jim could very well put in a raise here. And that is a raise. 29.50. Seems like a pretty easy fold for Garden Hire. Even if you do have the best hand, there's a good shot it won't be by the river. And it's pretty rare you're gonna have the best hand here. Anyway, there it goes. I think Doug oh, could put in another bet. I'm taking it back. If Jim's got a hand that's good enough to raise with, he's probably got a hand good enough to call a small re-raise yeah, yeah. with. Can I go over there and ah, check? Ah, there we go. Nice. The doctor is there. in. If you had stethoscope on the first prop, you've just won. There. Your cord's not long enough. I'm going to plan for that. Look how amused Doug is. Here, you listen in for me. Let me know how his heartbeat <laughs> is right now. Very safe card for Doug Polk on the turn. He's got like the second nuts on this board. He's only losing to 4-6. 4, 4,000. But it's Carroll Top who's going to continue to semi-bluff, probably assuming he has more outs than just a diamond, and he doesn't even have all of those. Seven of diamonds would be no bueno for him. Owen. Well, I have no choice but to call, I guess. You got much? No, I'm in trouble. Turn up. That's the worst thing I could have run into. I guess we need a diamond, baby. You do indeed, and it can't be the seven. No diamond whatsoever. Wow, that's, that was a horrible flop. It was a horrible flop. The last 10 in the deck. I'm so stoked that Carol Top is back, but so far as prop comedy is lacking, let me make some suggestions, you know, for the poker fans. Hey, Chris, you seem a little wired. You know, and I think I, I probably should put a stop to this. Uh, we'll be back right after this. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to Durant, Oklahoma and Choctaw, where we've got a quintessential poker night in America happening. Today's game really is a testament to the amount of irritating behavior players will put up with when they think someone is easy money. Of course, I'm talking about Eric Wasserson. How can anyone stand that guy? I think I'm gonna pass it along soon. Oh, yeah, we got a couple of we'll toys see. that have been we'll passed see. out from <laughs> Jim Carroll. We got a giant pacifier. We got a donkey statue. I know it's sort of a pot kettle situation, but I can't believe he's recycling some of those jokes. You would have thought I had a set. It's on me. You know what? Probably. You would have. Carol makes it 200. With pocket neaters, min raises. Garden hire calls. Doug Polk is about to get involved. The floating fuzzy. I wonder where it came from. I love Kelly Winter all through the table. Who else would wonder where a floating fuzzy came from? Call. How much are the blue tips? I'm so scared. I'm going to call. All right, so we're heads up with Doug Polk and Jim Carroll. And the flop is nine king. Oh, man. Wow. Revenge is a dish best served with Kimo Sabe Mezcal. Full house for Jim, just trips for Doug. Doug's betting 700. Carol Smooth calls. Doug misses the turn, does not boat up. Be careful, I might get it all back on this hand. Jim. Shh. Pretty sure I am. Jim? Take, take out a prop if you have to do something. Put that pacifier in your I mouth. get it all back on one hand and get the donkey Jim! Shh. Oh, it might be working. Watch this. I know Jim likes to bring a bag of props, but right now he has a box of tells. Lucky for him, Doug has hit this flop so hard, maybe no amount of talking will talk him out of it. Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Jim! All right. Six on the river Focus. is meaningless, so here we go. Don't ever bring out that stethoscope during the hand. You like threw me off totally and messed everything up. Jim, I'm saying shut the front door right now before Doug outright folds this hand. 
How far behind am I? Oh, boy. Can we hear them back over there talking? I wonder what they're saying back there. We're saying, shh, and put your rays in before Doug just walks away. All this reeks of strength. Now, Jim talked before. Yeah, that's nothing new. Right, but this is all very confident. Carol all in for his last 11,800. Quick fold. Quick fold. I mean, you're Doug's hitting almost three oh, to no. one. If, if I beat, it would be like a pretty, pretty sick cooler. But uh, yeah, all right, I call. Ah, wow. I guess I gave Doug too much credit. All right. Thought he might have been able to well, pick up on the live tells. That was pretty sick. All right, well, I count the chips here. Let's, you can have the donkey back. Yeah, I want you to take that. All right, let's just do 50. We'll all right. get it over yeah, yeah, with. I have, I have you voted for Trump. And then if you voted for neither, neither or, or a third party candidate, then it's a, it's a wash. Yeah. Or a write-in. Jim? OK, so I'm a businessman. I has 200, 2,000 employees working for me. And I have to buy health care for all of them. Throw him to damn money. And, and, and he's a religious nut, so. Sorry, there I mean, is a bet as to who Jim Carroll voted for and someone actually put money on Hillary Clinton. Not only would I wager every dollar I have on Jim Carroll voting for Donald Trump, but I would I would wager every dollar I will win. He brought a Donald Trump bobblehead. But he has a Hillary bobblehead as well. He does? Yes. No, I lied to you. I was lied to you. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> He built a wall around his bobblehead Donald Trump, and you're like, this guy voted for Clinton. <laughs> I would bet you. I, would bet you. I wanted to get in on that. I mean, That's so funny. I, would bet, I thought something was up because I it was just like, I was like, whoa. There's it's so strong that he wants to bet on Clinton there that it, 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 I thought it was just the way he phrased the question about whether or not David. Eric Wasserson raising seven six suited. Haven't heard much from him. What? What? what Welcome to the game, Eric. Person would vote and for. Flops a pair to flush draw. Yeah. Okay. The, the extreme. Christian right voted for Trump 100%. Trump is not a religious. What do you mean he has a ministry? I'm giving up. Donald Trump is, is obviously not a very religious person. Don't use logic, Kane and Callis. Are you crazy? Everybody, everybody who is religious does. 300 the bet and right the call. Yeah. Did all religious people vote against Barack Obama? I would say a majority of them did, yes. Nice I turn, Dougie. I, to I told Cardi I would have laid to to nine, to, nine to one, and he said I'd throw him money away. <laughs> Doug going to continue I, I playing. would have laid 10 to one. question is whether or not he's going to raise here or if he just wants to, to call to see the river. A businessman in Texas believes in God. Why would I vote for Hillary? Let's. There's no way Eric Wasserson folds. Do you know where Justin's from? The only question is, does he get the rest of it in here? I mean, if you're waiting for a great situation, I don't know how it gets much better than this. I've already got the two pair, so I got the full house draw. Oh, I got the flush draw, too. Now, there is a situation where maybe Doug might be playing both of those as well, but still. Correct. Or if you bet for a third party or a write in, it's a push. Oh, Doug. Oh, no. From no. zero to hero in two that's streets. No, Doug, that's not nice. All in. Correct. I'm a no vote. Hmm. Interesting. I have, I have a very good hand. Got the clubs, Dougie. This could be a brutal spot where if a club came, I would lose, and a brick, I would also lose. Eric's actually doing fine with this analysis. It's just that Doug's hand is so out there, it's hard to even include it in your hand breakdown fan fiction. Mm. We show my fold. All right, I, I've had enough of this. Time to make a decision. Okay. Good fold. Man, he had it right up until the last second. Good hand. Big fold, obviously. At six, seven of clubs. Cool. We have to take a break, but stick around because when we get back, the prop bets will get even more complicated with even fewer resolutions. Welcome back to Choctaw in Durant, Oklahoma, where players aren't satisfied to just be gambling on poker. Oh no, they're also playing two truths and a lie for money. Oh, I thought we were doing the same thing at the top of the show when you said we're in Oklahoma, we're playing poker, it's gonna be a great show. Well, which one's the lie, Joe? One segment left to see if it's a great show. Okay, baseball's the category. So now you and I need to pick one person other than ourselves, ourselves. at the table. Okay. So how do we decide? What is who, happening? Uh, is this a new side 
I'll take Play black. Play a home game that's going on? Black, I choose first. If it's red, you choose first. Okay. Whatever it is, it's convoluted. This is currently happening. What if there, and what if there's no, no plot? I think I think he has to be involved in some way. Man, I, I mean, I know trivia nights have got their place anything. and everything, but could we not do it during the game? Whatever it's happened not, to the I old prop bets, the these kids and their complicated good. props? What happened to red, <laughs> black, flops? I'm choosing black because uh, How I many credit cards do I have in my wallet? Let's bet on that. It doesn't that. have to do with the contents of your hand. I didn't see my hand when I said that. Have you looked at your hand? Of course I've looked at my hand. Both cards? Both of them. David Baker's made it $600 a pocket eights. Ace Jack for Doug. Kelly's got caught up in the middle, calling with nine six suited. Action will be back on her after Doug X. And try to make the difficulty like the intermediate. Justin. When you come up with the trivia question, like an intermediate difficulty. How about we just play categories? <laughs> You're gonna bet on whether or not someone knows the answer to the question. We're both gonna draft one player for the category baseball. What? And then we're gonna flip on whether we want our player to go first or second. If you go first and you get it right, you immediately get paid 50. Oh. If you go second and the first player gets it wrong, you get paid 1.5x, so you get paid 75. If this gets too difficult, I can bring out some props and we can do a white elephant exchange. Oh, that's ironic. All the white, the white elephants elephant. voted for Trump, too. You don't too. know what a white elephant is? This exchange? Is like a Christmas thing? Yeah, you get the, yeah, yeah, like the Christmas thing where you get the, you know, you get one pick. Uh, the queen eye flop, Polk misses. He's out of position and does not have the betting lead. He should be checking here a lot. Probably just doesn't want it to look like it's an auto check. Was that the And apparently I don't know anything. And David's got exactly the kind of hand Doug wants to fold, but I don't know that this will work. I don't think Doug would lead here very often with a queen. He'd lead sometimes when he flops huge, which it's tough to do on this board, and he'd lead sometimes when he flops air, which is easy to do on this board. So Doug's definitely gonna have to fire again if he wants David to fold pocket eights. I mean, the good thing about bluffing is you don't have to hit a card to keep doing it. Oh, man, but that is gonna be a really bad card for Doug Polk to try to bluff David Baker off of. Is there any better feeling in poker than catching your set on the turn? Like you call on the flop and you're like, man, I might have some tough decisions later on. Nah, not really. Oh, hey, look at that. How nice is it? And I like him betting here to try to protect against some ugly rivers. Nope. nope. Yeah, it turns out I really don't know anything <laughs> at all about poker whatsoever. King on the river, so. Zero anything for Doug Polk here. Just heaps of nothing. Yeah. So how'd you and my guess is Doug thinks David Baker's got a hand he can get to fold here. Maybe just a queen. And Baker's got a great bluff catcher at this point, which is exactly what Doug is contemplating. Yeah. How about you? Cool. Wow! <laughs> Snapped! Where are Crackle and Pop? Because Doug Polk just got Maybe rice crispy. Huh? Yum. You're getting a pure price on two dollars. Yeah, we get back for more props. Fish, huh? so it's Please. I do like the props. I want to get away from the game shows. I want to get away from the political talk. I just want more props. I'm a simple guy. Just bring something out of that bag. I don't know what it is. Just come on, man. Oh, I meant prop betting. You meant property. Oh, this is very know, exciting. Never mind. Yeah. The questions would be really stupid. The questions would be my favorite Wasserson color, my favorite has number. Jack on the button. And I think that those questions are much more difficult to discern. Yeah. And you're yeah, it's go 150 table. bucks, why not? Yeah, you might as well play that other game again. Come on. So we heads up with Winterhalter and Wasserson. <laughs> First time ever, by the way, in Poker Night in America, the two people whose last name started with the letter W have found themselves heads up in a no hand. One. Top pair for the second W. We're very particular with our records <laughs> on uh, Poker Night in I'm, America. I'm not looking it up. Kelly's going to continue on a board that's going to hit Washington's range pretty hard. Bet a call. For clubs, for Winterhalter to pick up the flush draw. Yes, even more reason for Winterhalter to start betting. Winter halter sounds like the kind of clothing you'd wear to a club in February. This is my winter halter. And I assume after betting flop, she's gonna bet again here. Oh, she is checked. Wasserson can't really hate this board. It's this side. I know. I'm right here. Yeah, I see. I know. 
Checking out that neck pulse. Eric Wasserson is such a good poker player, he can actually slow his pulse to under a thousand beats per minute. Not sure what's taking Kelly so long. She's got the nut flush draw. She's not folding. I guess she's choosing between calling or raising. Call. And raising is what she's decided to do? Snap call from Wasserson. 82% favorite to stack Winterhalter. River, goo! Uh-huh. A lot of meaty rivers here today at Choctaw. Got to just know when it's coming. And speaking of goo, this is the last hand of the night. We got a goo. All right, two truths and a lie, go. Uh, let's see, we have to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back and lots more poker when we return. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Well, that's about all the time we have for tonight's episode from Choctaw, but don't worry. This week's a two-parter. We'll have more from this same table next time. Yes, like one of those Murdoch episodes from MacGyver. MacGyver! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see where this cliffhanger leaves us. Eric Wasserson and David Baker have had the biggest swings. Doug Polk has lost a chunk, too, while Carol and Callis and Garden Hire are still lying in the weeds, ready to make their moves. I, I see what you did there, Garden Hire. Weeds, nice. I'm um, in Boeing like Jets, Global Express, at the country with the Blueberry still connects on a low, on a yacht, got a triple deck. But I'm young with the beep, do you expect? Grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> 